Hey, happy Wednesday. Shit, it's Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday. I was supposed to get my hair done today, this morning, but she had to cancel or reschedule. We rescheduled it for another day. She um, has to go out of town. Her cousin's getting married and she has to leave earlier than originally planned for some reason. So she just asked me if she could just do it another day. So I'm gonna have roots for, for miles, but that's cool. I try to get it done about every five weeks, but, uh, yeah, something, well, shit happens. It's fine. I've had to reschedule appointments for my own stuff, so, yeah, it's not, it is not a problem. Um, I just left Goodwill. I dropped off some stuff and, uh, found some, two pairs of men's true religion jeans and a pair of men's kind of large size Calvin Klein jeans that I'm gonna put on eBay. It was a good find. And I bought this big ass, you can kind of see it back there, this big ass green tote. And it has a hinged lid that's attached to the tote and these handles on the side. That is a nice tote. It was $6.99 minus my 20, my 15% discount or whatever the hell it is. And I got the discount on the jeans too. So it was a really good deal. I got all of that together for like $21. So I'm very happy with my my finds today. Um, so, yeah. I didn't buy anything for myself except I guess that tote, if you want to count the tote. I thought it would be good for Christmas decorations and stuff. It's a really good size. I was kind of looking for a large tote and my God, have you, tr have you priced totes like that lately? Those big plastic totes? They have gone through the damn roof. I mean, they were expensive before, but now they're just ridiculously expensive. So to get that one for $7, hell yeah. Um, yeah, it's perfect. Nothing wrong with it. So I t what I do with stuff like that, I take it home, I set it out in the driveway, I spray it down with Lysol, and I leave it out there for at least a day before I bring it in the house just to make sure it has no cooties or anything. I mean, it would be kind of hard for them to hide in a plastic tote, but you never know. So I, I, I spray it down with Lysol, I wipe it down, and I leave it out there for a day just to just to be sure, just make sure it doesn't have any critters or you know little varmints living in it. I'm sure it's fine. It's you know, it's just a plastic tote. <clears throat> anyway, I'm headed to Walmart now to buy a sports bra that I've already bought. I gotta buy it again. Not because I liked it so much. I haven't even received it. I'm gonna tell you something. If Walmart, now this is just my opinion. If Walmart wants to compete with Amazon, they gotta get their shit together. They gotta do better. First of all, their app is really stupid. I cannot stand their app. You, Amazon's app is a thousand times easier to use. Walmart's, it just sends you all over the place. You wanna order something. Um, it, it may, you know, you add it to your cart. It may say you have to go pick it up in the store. It may say it's going to be delivered to you. It's kind of arbitrary as to how it adds it to your cart. Um, you can, you know, tell it to do one thing and you look in your cart and it's not what you told it to do. Long story short, I'm not, I don't like trying to order stuff from Walmart online. I really don't. It seems like pretty much every time I do, there's a problem. There's something wrong. So, um, Back in October, I ordered, I saw they had in the stores, they had these Avia sports bras and they were so pretty. They had them in uh, like this green, sort of a sage green color and, and another one in burgundy. And they had this gold um, on them. It was like marbly gold and it was shiny and so pretty. But when, when I found them in the stores, they didn't have them in my size. They had like extra small and extra large. They didn't have any other sizes. So I thought, well, I'll go online and see if I can find it. First of all, I scanned in. I had my phone in the store. I scanned it in. They went to the Walmart app, the little scanner thingy, scanned it in, didn't recognize it. This item is not available. It didn't even know what the hell it was. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm standing in your store holding your merchandise and scanning it and you don't know what the hell it is. 
I scanned it two or three times and it didn't recognize it. I'm like, I don't know what that is. That's not something that we sell. Like, the hell it's not. I'm standing in your damn store holding it after picking it up off the rack. You suck. So, I ended up I'm like, okay, fine. So, I look at the tag and I, I look at how it's described or whatever. And I just typed in words trying to search. Finally, I found it. I don't know why it didn't come up when I scanned it. You're supposed to be able to just scan shit and it comes up. It may, it may not. That bra, it didn't recognize. Because I tried one of the burgundy ones and one of the green ones. It didn't recognize either one. Piece of shit app. So, alright. So, I ordered one in burgundy and one in that sort of a sage green color. So pretty. Well, I received the burgundy one no problem. They're like $15.98 or something plus tax super cute oh my word and um i i i wear a lot of these every week because i go to classes all the time so I, I had kind of been looking for one in burgundy and a sage green anyway because you know i coordinate outfits when i go work out you know i kind of have to have things match a little bit i'm not super picky about it you know i'm not like accessorizing it with bracelets and shit but i don't wear any jewelry when i go work out i just don't um, I'm not trying to get all fancy, but I want the I want the pieces that I'm wearing to at least kind of go together. So I try to match my my little sports bra to my outfit or whatever. I don't know. It's just a thing, you know. I have a lot of them. I have four or five sports bras just in plain black, and then I have a couple that are just white. You know, so they just kind of go with whatever. Um. So anyway. The burgundy, okay, the burgundy one arrived no problem. The green one was being shipped to me separately. They, they did tell me that. It's going to come separately. Now, this was back in, like, mid-October. And I'm checking the tracking information, and it just, it didn't really say anything. It just said it was in transit for, the, for like, two weeks. It's in transit. Like, is it coming from Mars? I mean, how far away are you? How is it still in transit? Did you, are you sending it on the back of a turtle? What the hell are you doing? Okay, so you go to the app. Good luck getting an answer to this question. You can't. The app will send you all over the place and tell you nothing. Okay, where's my, where's my package? And they'll send you to a page with frequently asked questions that don't answer. They're questions that are frequently asked, but the answers are no help at all. And then you just stall out, like there's nowhere to go from there. If the frequently asked questions don't answer your question, they don't have any other suggestions for you. Like, well, why don't you just hang out on this page and read it again? Maybe that'll help. We have no other suggestion for you. You have to go around your ass to get to your elbow before you can find a way to talk to somebody. So, but if you, if you're persistent, you can stick with it and eventually you will find a chat. There's like a, a little chat thing, but you really have to look for it. It is not obvious. So, all right. So I went to the chat thing today and I, so finally, I don't know if it was a human or AI. I don't know what the hell it was. This person, I said, where's my package? Oh, all you have to do is check the tracking information. Yeah, I did that. It's been in transit since mid-October. It is, it's been a month. Where's my package? Um, it has had plenty of time to get here. Oh, let me check. And they were gone for a while. I was cleaning out the, the under part of my coat closet while I was chatting with this person. I still think it was an AI. I don't know. I went through a bunch of stuff in there that I had a bunch of, I have a safe in there that has papers in it and a box of other stuff and I was just going through it. So I was just doing that while I was waiting. <clears throat> so finally they come, the, the, the person comes back and says, your, your package was damaged in shipment and it could not be delivered. It was damaged in Whitsitt, North Carolina. She, <laughs> He or she or it, the, the computer was very specific. Like, it was damaged beyond repair in Whitsitt, North Carolina. So, that sounds about right. No offense if you live in Whitsitt, but that sounds about right. They beat the shit out of my package. They pummeled my sports bra. I'm going the wrong way. Hang on a minute. Yeah, so I said, what? 
I said it's a bra. I mean, it's not like it's breakable. Did they set it on fire? What happened? <laughs> this person's name was Natalie, and or the AI's name was Natalie. Somebody was, <laughs> Natalie goes, I don't have any way of knowing that, ma'am. I apologize. Like, well, I mean, it's not like it was fragile. Well, I'm sorry, ma'am. There's no other information available. We cannot provide this this item to you. <laughs> okay, Um, I said, can you send another one? Can you just send it again? No, ma'am, I'm sorry. We are unable to do that. And then they get like this scripted response about we cannot do that at this time. I apologize for the inconvenience. Like, why can't you do it? And why did I have to contact you to sort this out? How long has my bra been sitting demolished in Whitsett, North Carolina? I mean, shit, it's probably been sitting there for two weeks. Why do I have to contact you about it? I'm sorry, ma'am. She gave me a $5 credit on my next online order, but I don't want to order anything from them online. Every time I order anything from them online, it is just a hot mess. I mean, good luck. You may get it. You may not. <clears throat> I don't know. So, I said, well... What are we going to do? She said, well, I will refund your money for this bra uh, and give you a $5 credit towards your next online purchase. And uh, you can buy it again if you want to, but I can't just replace the damaged package. Okay, fine. So um, I went online. I thought, well, I'll just order it again. You know, whatever. Well, you have to order at least $35 worth of shit to get free shipping. Well, I didn't really want anything else. But I thought, well, I don't know. I'll go on there and order some stuff that we use at home. Like, I'll get some old El Paso taco seasoning. And, you know, just stuff that, you know, like here. Just add this to it. Put a couple bag of, bags of chips in there. Some combos. I don't know. Just get it up to $35. So, I go to check out. Thinking this was just going to, you know, we'll just, it's just send it again. Oh, no. See, because now... The bra is only available for purchase in the store. We cannot mail it to you. And also, two of these other items that you put in here, um, we're not going to mail it. You have to go pick it up at the store. So, it is now two separate orders. And neither one of them comes up to the minimum to get free shipping or, you know, whatever. <sighs> Shipping's $5.99. Wait, and, oh, and there was also nowhere to put the code for the $5 off. I guess because, well, I don't know. There was nowhere to put in the coupon, the, the little code for the $5 off. So I said, you know what, just forget it. It's available at this Walmart. If you wanna go pick it up, I said, you know what, just forget it. I deleted everything out of my cart. I said, just never mind. I will just go to the Walmart my damn self and buy it my damn self. Lord have mercy. So. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to run in there and see if they have it. And if they do, I'm going to purchase it. And then I'll come back and show it to you. Because it's actually super cute. And I really do want it. I hate that the first one was demolished beyond, you know, redemption or whatever. And fucking wits it. That's an actual town, wits it. I didn't know anything, you know, like this happened there. I didn't realize that, you know, things from Walmart passed through wits it. I didn't think anything passed through wits it. Apparently it does. I'm going to run in there and see if I can find it, and I will be right back. Whew, I am back. That was quick. Well, I knew exactly where to go. I got a little bit a little bit miffed at first because I went over to the, the, the active clothing or whatever section. And I looked, and initially I couldn't find them. They had moved them. They were tucked away kind of down below. But look how pretty this is. And they also have it in burgundy. It's so cute. Look at this. It is so fun. It's a little crisscross back to it. And even the straps have the gold on them. And they have this in kind of a burgundy color as well. Isn't that cute? I always get a large in these. Normally I wear like a medium or a small. But I find with these, especially from Avia, to, I, I bump it up a size. I just, that's just what I prefer. But look at that. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh. So yeah, it's 15. 98 and then with tax it's like 1704 super duper cute i love the color and the gold in it so they do also have it in burgundy very cute so originally i ordered one and it was destroyed and wits it so but i was able to get it still so yay 
I got my little my little top. It is just it's just precious. I just love it. It's so fun. So that was very frustrating because I've already been here today. I came here this morning first thing and did some shopping for our Angel Tree kids and I bought some I did get some stuff. I wasn't able to find any wrapping paper here, so I went to Target and got um I was able to get some Spider-Man wrapping paper and um Mario. I got some Mario wrapping paper, so I got two. I wasn't able to find anything for the other two kids, but I did find Spider-Man and Mario. So I'm gonna keep looking for the other two. I might try I might try like Dollar General or something. Sometimes I can find wrapping paper in there. I don't know. But anyway, I'm frustrated as hell with Walmart. That's why I typically don't like buying stuff from them because it's just a pain in the butt. And then, it, and it never fails, too, if I try to pick up stuff from here. Oh, if originally, I was going to do a, just a store pickup, but the earliest I could come was 9 p.m. tonight or tomorrow, and I can't come tomorrow because I'm going to be busy all day tomorrow. Frustration. I realize these are first world problems, but it still gets on my nerves. Um, so, yeah, it's been a pretty good day. I've gotten a lot done. I've gone through, I'm going through like, I have several safes with just important papers in them, old tax returns, stuff like that. I found some really old tax returns. And I know some people say you should keep them forever and never get rid of them, but you know, it, they take up a lot of room. And I found some that were super duper old, like 14 years old. I, and I went ahead, I have a shredder. I just went ahead and shredded, shredded all of that. Um, Boop gets excited whenever I use the shredder. She comes over there and she's so interested. She's just like, oh, and she tries to slap the shredder and I have to keep getting her away from it. Like, you don't, you know, don't get near it while it's in use. I don't want you to get hurt, you know. But she keeps wanting to slap the shredder. She wants to hit the shredder. She watches the paper going into it like, oh, what? She is fascinated by it. She never gets tired of it. And I had a bunch of stuff to shred, so I was like an Enron employee earlier today. I filled that the basket up twice, shredding stuff. I thought, you know, I'm really good at this. If I ever needed to work for a scandalous company or something, I bet I would be a real asset. <laughs> I don't know, and I'm good at fending off those who want to intervene while I shred, so I've had practice. But, yeah, yay! So I got my little doodah. Look at that pretty gold. I just cannot get over this. So they have these at Walmart right now. And I think they only have two colors. This green and then a burgundy. It's just so pretty. I just had to show you. I like them. I mean, nobody's going to see it when I'm wearing it. But it just makes me happy. Because I always have on a, you know, a, a tank top or something over it. So you don't really see it. But I like it. So I bought it for me. Because it looks very festive and happy. So... Yay! Um, thank you for all the congratulations for the channel anniversary. I can't. I still can't believe it's been a whole year of me just running my damn mouth. Can't believe y'all put up with it. Um, so I don't know. I don't really have anything else to report. It's kind of a quiet day, sort of an uneventful day. And but I hope it's a good day for you. It's uh good weather it finally stopped raining it rained all day yesterday all night oh it was awful it was miserable but it's it's cloudy but it stopped raining so that's good enough for me but happy wednesday to you thank you so much for being here i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you again soon